Welcome back, everybody. Paige Hemis is here to show us how to make antique-looking photo frames to put your beautiful memories in. Yes. yes. Well, Dina has a wonderful memory to put in one of these. Uh, the picture of you yeah. going like this? Uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I framed it for Can you. Did it in this frame? I'm sure. Yeah. I, I don't know. You were. I, I think I need a bigger frame yeah. for yeah. how excited you were. Yeah. My yeah. Yes. family would agree. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you look at these two frames here, now I have these up in my house, and Mark, you'll re you'll remember taking that lovely I do photo. Taking yes. That. Oh. that was right before Jason and I got married, and we're representing the U.S. and Australia. And this is one of my favorite frames from years ago, and. I, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that I spent a lot of money on this one and this one. And, and these are my, my prized possessions. My really husband beautiful. and my kitty. Yeah. They're beautiful yeah. frames, yeah. though. They're Paige. beautiful, and they're made out of, um, well, the story is that they're made out of an actual Victorian home, and the wood behind it was used, and this was wow. oh, ceiling cool. tiles. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they sold it to me that way and put a higher <laughs> price tag on it. Right. Yeah. You never know. But, but you either bought it, they look cool. But I bought it. I spent way over $100. But I was thinking, everyone compliments these and I thought yeah. there must be a cheaper way and so I set out to find a cheaper way and I did. Mm. And you found these amazing tiles. These tiles, now check this out. Okay, these are tiles that you can get at, I actually got this one for $4 on overstock.com, but you can get them at your local hardware store okay. and unlike these, which are actual metal from Victorian time, if we're right. believing that story, <laughs> this, look at this. Wugga, wugga. It's plastic. plastic. Yeah. It's plastic, look, check out the back. It's really light, it's plastic. So that means instead of doing this, which tin is snip tin is snips, rude. which is, yeah, it gets kind of scary yeah. and the edges are pretty sharp, you can actually just use a regular pair of scissors to cut through this. It makes it so easy. All right, well. Oh, and then it's got the cover on it. Take, oh, oh, it's laminate. Yes, it's, it's fancy. It's fancy. Yeah, I'm sure it's real fancy. Fan look at that, here, let's just, let's, okay. here, you hold this. Okay. Peel it Let's off. Go. So you got started a little earlier. <laughs> That's classy right there. That is. That is classy. Right. You can charge $100. Yes, I started wow. a little earlier. <laughs> and so again, it's just on this plastic. I took a pencil and a regular pair of scissors and I cut it to size. I used a paper cutter, but then I also just used scissors. And I got these frames at the 99 cent store. They're really cheap, but they're gonna be covered up anyway. So I figured go cheap. You also wanna get ones that either have the hooks on the back um, or you can add hooks on the back because you cannot stand them up the way I do this. Okay. So then you cut a hole in the middle just to get your scissors started and you can do that with anything. I did it with a drill and then hot glue goes your all favorite. the way around. You need a flat frame to do this, I'll point out too, because you want a flat surface that adheres to this piece of plastic. Put it on, there you go. And now I'm taking chalk paint and putting this all over the frame. And chalk paint is so wonderful because it has this, it really has a chalky finish at the end. It's a really matte finish. And so we have the shine of what's going on underneath. And then we have this matte finish. To make it look antique. Yes, now look at this. Here, take some. I'm gonna Are put you, you to work. Dina? Put you to work. Um, marginally. You're gonna be marginally. crafty today. You're gonna be oh, crafty. Yeah. So all you do is take your sandpaper. You, Dina, you do that side. I'll okay. do this side. Can and, I just real clear? Gonna... When you say chalk paint, this is not chalkboard paint. Not chalkboard chalk paint. paint. No, it's actually so chalk are... paint. And if you can see, it, it is kind of almost like a chalky finish. Mm -hmm. But if you do use chalk on this, it's not like a chalkboard. Yeah. It okay. will not come off. Okay. So and then you just you scrub it back. Mm. And I love scrubbing it back where the pattern already oh. is. And then you can kind of reveal some of the back too. And look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, give them it's one Victorian one. and old. Oh my, right. This is a page. Vintage. This was from a Victorian house. Yes. And yeah. the back of it is from the ceiling tiles of the Victorian house as yes. well, Paige. Yeah. Exactly. Pay Would no you buy it from me for $100? <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the uh, the stickers in the back. Yeah. It's fine. And it's fine. see, this, this will disappear when you hang it on your wall because if you try to do this, it's not going to stand oh, up. I so see. you want to make sure that you have these things or attach them. They're really easy to do so that you can just go right up or you can set them like we did. Of we that $100 bill, what did you spend on that? I spent less than $10. Oh, wow.